acute lymphoblastic leukemia tends to, uh, um, we think, only be around for a short period of time in the body before we start to see signs and symptoms of it. We don't know that for sure because we really can't say when it started in the body. But in general, we think that it's probably only around for um, maybe a period of weeks before the child starts to have signs and symptoms of leukemia. Um, the, uh, um, and when we first discover that a child has leukemia, we do usually try to start treatment right away because they can begin to have some problems from the leukemia. Um, both the low blood counts and risk for infection and bleeding that I mentioned, um, and also that leukemia cells um, in the body are always going through a process of turnover where there's growth and there's also natural breakdown of the leukemia cells where the, some of the leukemia cells are always dying and growing um, simultaneously. And so when the cells die, they, they release the contents um, into the bloodstream. And some of those can be toxic. Um, and so um, as more leukemia is present in the body, some of those toxins can build up and cause other problems. And so when we discover that a child has leukemia, it's important to both get ready to treat the leukemia right away and also help support their body from some of these effects like the toxins in the bloodstream or like the low blood counts and risk for infection.